Siamo in diretta, we are live with il boss dell'inglese. Hi Robert, how are you? Hello Leo. How are you mate? Very well, how are you? I'm fine mate. How do you do? How do you do? How do you do? Nice to meet you. Sta, imp- sta imparando, vedo che sta imparando. <laughs> ok mate, ok, siamo, siamo alla quarta puntata. Cercheremo oggi di parlare un po' più in inglese, però l'introduzione la faccio un po' più in italiano. We, are at, uh, we arrived at the fourth chapter, siamo arrivati, anzi, siamo arrivati al terzo, siamo alla quarta puntata, ma siamo al terzo capitolo del libro, vero Robert? Exactly. About, 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 one second. That's the, that's the book there. Starting, starting your new job. Quindi iniziamo a parlare di Angelo, di Angelo che entra nell'azienda perché praticamente sa di essere stato assunto giusto? E sì. is going to start his new job. Is will, uh, will uh, sign his uh, contract, right? Robert. Exactly. Uh, he signed the contract, ha firmato il contratto e adesso inizia il nuovo lavoro. So in questo capitolo c'è tutto che devi fare um, when you start a new job. So deve incontrare uh, le altre persone. He's got to meet the other people, his colleagues, colleghi. Uh, he has an interview with the HR manager. Uh, he has the orientation. Uh, and also, when you start a new job, quando inizi un uh, nuovo lavoro, si deve, si dice in inglese, to learn the ropes. To learn the ropes. Letteralmente, imparare le corde. I think in Italian it's funi. Is it imparare le funi? È giusto? Yeah. It's, like, it's like when uh, someone goes uh, to um, uh, a boat lesson, um, yeah. a sailing boat lesson. Yeah, exactly. And, uh, and the, the, the trainer yeah. explains you how using the ropes. Exactly. No? Exactly. I mean, originally, originalmente, era un termine della, the, it's from the Navy, in Maritimo. It's, it's you know, the sailors. Un termine marittimo. Un termine sailors marittimo. learned which rope to pull. So we fantastic, to fantastic. Learn the ropes, yeah? To learn okay, the... Robert. Allora, I want to break the ice. Voglio rompere il ghiaccio. Yeah. Con uh, un video, perché All noi right. parliamo, già iniziamo a parlare di aziende, companies. Yeah. E voglio mostrarti un video sulla più grande azienda del mondo. Sulla più grande azienda del mondo. Intanto stacco il mio home mini. Che <ride> interviene. Il go- yeah. Sai, eh, home, il Google Home ogni tanto yeah. si intromette. Eh, la più grande azienda del mondo. Eh, ho trovato, ho scovato un video su YouTube interessantissimo mm-hmm. su questa azienda. Quindi Robert è doveroso. Anche un po' per spezzare il ghiaccio, to break the ice. Yeah, break the ice. Questi primi minuti, vederci questa clip di questa azienda è importantissima. Mm-hmm. E poi ritorniamo con la nostra lezione. Ok. One second, one second. Ok. Ok. Hi, I'm Andrea Marco and I work in the City of London for one of the most important worldwide financial organization, Andrangheta. Andrangheta today is well established in more than 200 countries worldwide. Australia, Canada, Colombia, the United States, etc. With annual profits of more than 53 billion euros. With contracts all over the world, it has many areas of expertise, politics, finance, building and much more. With 10 years of partnership with the Picciotti, I have been able to see how Andrangheta is not only a very, very famous Italian icon like Del Piero, Le Gondole, Toro di Pisa, Eros Ramazzotti, Lapo Elkin, Schettino, but also how it still remains like a big family with strong family values, with that familiar willingness to help each other out. Andrangheta is family. The day before my wedding, the place for the reception called, cancelled. So my father-in-law, Il Ciccio D'Impulsivo, he called his friends at Dangheta 
and within an hour, problem solved. They even found a better place. It was beautiful. We felt so lucky because the place we were gonna have it, the next day, burned to the ground. Amazing. Andrangheta today is to be inside of the challenge of our times as leading actors. It is to worry about the future of our planet. Andrangheta is environment. Well, I've worked with Andrangheta in the disposal of special waste for a long time. It's a very professional job, you know, um, based on the type of waste that's being transported. But I have to admit, it's like a holiday for me, you know. For example, we got to go out to the middle of the Ionian Sea, and there, after dumping the waste in the water, then we swam in those amazing blue waters. I take care of ecology for Indrangheta. Recycling is the key word. For Christmas, certain types of waste can be recycled and turned into low-cost toys for underprivileged children. Because if it's not Christmas for everyone, it's not Christmas at all, is it? If you're a dynamic person who likes to fly with that in net, then Andrangheta's for you. Andrangheta is love. Oh, my son. He said that when he grows up, he wants to join Andrangheta just like his father and his grandfather as a reward. He got two little turtles and he named them Toto and Rina. New challenges are waiting for us. The Expo 2015 in Milan is an opportunity that we want to jump on. Food is life, and when there is life, there is Andrangheta. Thank you, Andrangheta. Thank you, Picciotti. Come join Andrangheta. If you can't find us, we'll find you. Okay, can you hear me now? Yeah, okay. Nina, yeah. Um, <laughs> it's a divertido. I saw a introduction. Andrea Di Marco. It's a Andrea Di Marco. It's fantastic. It's fantastic. It's a little bit. It's a little bit. It's a little bit. It's a little bit. That was Derek. Derek, Derek, Derek. Derek that Allen. Derek and Leah and Kevin. Siamo, siamo molto ironici, siamo molto ironici così per introdurre un po' la puntata in maniera scherzosa. Intanto magari qualche amico, ecco, si è, si è aggiunto alla live. Robert, let's talk about your chapter, your third chapter. Okay, Leo. Okay, Angelo uh, signed the contract and after signing the contract, yeah. what is going to do? So, can I just say, Angelo Castello, il mio Castello, uh, Castello. protagonista, right? Lui lavora per una società che si chiama Ace Trading Limited, Ace Trading. right? He doesn't, he doesn't work for any other organization, okay? <laughs> <laughs> he works for Ace Trading Limited, è una società di importazione, exportazione. Exportazione. So on the, um, his first day, il suo primo giorno al lavoro, um, fa un sacco di um, burocrazia. Ci sono molte um, regole. So for example, there's the um, health and safety, the um, salute e sicurezza, very important, molto importante. There is, he has to get his badge, um, his security pass, He has to get his computer password so he can use the computer system. They have to create um, an account for him. So on the first day, you know, there's always a lot of, um, uh, you know, bureaucratic things that you have to do. But also, really important, you have to meet all the other people. So, for example, I'll give you some examples. When you meet someone in a, in a formal situation now you said at the beginning how do you do uh i'll just explain this okay how do you do in inglese questo è uh, l'equivalente di piacere so when you meet someone for the first time per la prima volta you shake hands or you go now with your elbow con il gomito and you say 
how do you do? And the reply, la risposta è, how do you do? Ma questo, ma questo per la prima volta? Yeah, per la prima volta. E, e, Quindi, e vuol dire prima quando, io, quando io ti ho detto how do you do non era proprio corretto. Not really, because we already, we already know each other. So, so really, you, there you should have said how are you? So oh, yes. se hai già incontrato l'altra persona, puoi dire how are you? Questo vuol dire come stai. Yeah? Yes. So how do you do? Piacere. How are you? Come stai? Uh, and that's in the book. I'll just, in case sì, people so. are joining us, I'll just go like that. Right? Okay. <laughs> Get some product placement in the video. So basically, no, uh, not really, not uh, really, not really. Uh, So, per esempio, you might say, okay, you know, hello, how are, um, how do you do? How do you do? Then you can say, for example, nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you. And piacere incontrarla. You might say um, your name. Good idea to say your name. So you can say, I'm Robert. You can say, hello, how do you do? I'm Robert Dennis. Or Angelo Castello, the protagonist of the Business English, he would say, How do you do? I'm Angelo. I'm Angelo Castello. <coughs> the other person can reply with their name. Hello, I'm Sue. I'm Chris. A um, uh, very important thing is to, when you meet someone, is to uh, establish a good relationship. Okay? Fare un buon rapporto immediately. As soon as you come into the company, you know, be friendly, smile. Um, show that you are, you know, a nice person that wants to meet everyone. Um, I would say on a cultural note, in nelle società anglosassone, uh, le persone sembra molto, you know, amichevole immediatamente, especially in America. People say, hey, hi, hey, how are you? Really, that's the thing, yeah? So it's a kind of, um, in Italia, you know, you know for say, You know, the persone sono molto formale all'inizio e con il passaggio di tempo uh, si, you know, sciolgono the ice, il ghiaccio, si scioglie. Um, in England, in America, in Britain, you know, it's, it's slightly different. People are sort of quite friendly at the beginning. But uh, questo non vuol dire che sono... They are friendly, but not friends. Yeah, they're not, they're not exactly friends. So, you know, and also, per esempio, le persone usano uh, i nomi, uh, they use Christian names, first names, uh, and that can seem strange. Like, if you meet the boss, il capo, and he says, hi. Hi, John. I'm, hi, John. I'm Jim. And, you know, and call, you know, basically, you have to call the boss. Um, Jim. You don't call him Mr. Smith, you just call him Jim. So for Italians that can seem a bit strange, it seems sembra un po'... Ma questo, ma questo non è solo in Inghilterra, secondo me anche in Germania, anche in queste... No? I, th I think now it's... Per esempio il mio primo datore di lavoro, yeah. perché io non sono sempre stato un imprenditore, yeah. all'inizio per qualche anno sono stato dipendente di un'azienda in yeah. Palermo. Yeah. My first uh, boss, my first boss, yeah. was German. Mm -hmm. And everyone calling him uh, called proprio nome. Non lo dico, ma il nome. And uh, this made us uh, very, um, this helped to create a very friendly environment. Yeah. But we uh, understood soon that he wasn't our friend. Mm. <laughs> he uh, wasn't I mean our friend at all. I've got to say, you know, in, in England, in the UK, in America, our, our business culture, la, la cultura di fare il business, è un po' più informale. Uh, yeah. E le persone, you know, sono sempre più informali. Per yeah. esempio, quando scrivi un mail, you know, si può dire, you can say, hi, hi, Leo. Yeah. Um, I'm Robert. I'm, on, this, I'm working this on this project. Um, working easier exactly But i think that um the working environment in the uk in the uh in america in us yeah. in the us um um is a separate from the private uh, life no there are um, two different things okay i think it's an interesting question here so so one thing is at work 
people are more definitely more informal. Um, per esempio, in Italia, uh, ogni volta, ogni tanto si sente una persona che dice, uh, scusa, direttore, right? No one, no one in the UK or in America would say, excuse me, uh, manager. <laughs> you know, it, just, it, would seem, it would seem really some, sembrerebbe like, you know, stranissimo, excuse me, and use the il, il titolo del lavoro di una persona come una forma di... Um, questo, uh, Robert, questo no. potrebbe far credere l'ambiente americano anglosassone sì. cinico, ma in realtà è una differenza culturale non è un cinismo um, okay. perché Bro, magari okay, se io faccio l'amico con te poi yeah. tra due giorni no, tu yeah. sei il mio dipendente e io tra due giorni ti licenzio però ci diamo del tuo yeah, yeah. Ma magari per un italiano può sembrare un po' strano un po' yeah, exactly. okay, okay. nel mio opinione personalmente okay? io vivo in Italia da 12 anni e conosco you know, tantissimi italiani and I like Italy, I love Italy I love Italians, right? okay? so I'm here. Um, in Italy, quando incontri una persona che, che non conosci, questa persona è uno sconosciuto, right? they are a stranger, you don't know them. And so you are un po', you know, c'è una distanza, c'è una formalità. E forse, you know, dopo molti, um, you know, Settimana, Maisie, forse Annie, uh, you get to know the other person as a, as a person. You know them personally, and you you know you know information about them, about their family, and so over time, Italians form you know strong connections between people because they're personal connections. Um, in the UK, in the USA, Anglo-Saxon countries. It is, yeah, sembra un po' cinico perché le persone sono molto amichevole all'inizio because they want to do business. And the easiest way to do business is to make this strong connection immediately. So using first names, using, you know, usare il nome di una persona e non il... Maybe it's a, a sort of a strategy it's to a strategy. engage, yeah. um, to, to sell, to sell uh, our service and... Yeah, basically, you know, it's business. In general. Time is money, you know, it's the, it's the sort of wham, bam, come on, you know, let's be friends, let's let's make money. So it's a kind of, um, a, a sembra un po', um, um, it's, a bit, it's a bit rude, sembra un po' maleducato forse, you know. But um, the, other, the other side of that is that in inside companies, uh, there is... Um, tu hai detto che you know, la, la vita privata, la vita del lavoro e la vita privata sono più uh, separati. Io direi il contrario. I would say that, for example, in, in Anglo-Saxon countries, um, there's more of a mix, actually. Now, in the book, for example, there's a scene, c'è una scena dove uh, i personaggi vanno per un pranzo di business, go for a business lunch in una... In a, Ristorante Sicilia, Siciliano, which is, is not very Sicilian, but it's in London. In Memphis, maybe it's in Memphis. No. Not, no, in Memphis, it'd be really in, England, in London, but it's, in London, uh, it's not. It's, it's, it's got, a Sicilian restaurant in, uh, in London. Yeah, it's, it seems a bit strange. Now, in the nel ristorante, le persone um, mischiano, you know, il business. They, they are discussing business. They've got some forms. They've got the moduli on the table. And then they order the food. Um, forse in Italia, questo sarebbe, um, you know, um, maleducato. It would be uh, imbarazzante. So, so I would say, actually, in, in Italy, people like to separate work and private life more. Per esempio, like molte persone che hanno uh, social media accounts, right? They've got their Facebook account per se stessi. It's their personal life, it's their Facebook account. Then they've got LinkedIn, non LinkedIn. I've got to say this. Some people LinkedIn. say LinkedIn. It's LinkedIn. 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 Yeah, non si dice LinkedIn, right? Just say LinkedIn, Link right? LinkedIn. Yeah, LinkedIn, a, you know, a per la vita uh, professionale. Ogni tanto, 
you know, multi persona, and they'll do a um, cellulari. They've got their work phone and they've got their personal phone. And so it's very clear that there's a separation between work and private life. Um, and in the um, Anglo Saxon countries, questo cambia, the divisione tra la vita privata, la vita del lavoro, è più um, um, misto. È meno accentuata. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's, it's gradually changing. There are some bad sides to this. So, for example, 20 anni fa, okay, nessuno era, um, you know, chiesto di scrivere mail quando sedevo, you know, sul divano uh, a casa, okay? But now, yeah, you've got your phone. Everyone does it. Yeah, you can. In fact, um, ho lavorato in Milano, ho lavorato per una società che uh, ha sviluppato un piattaforma, uh, software, per calmare il mail. C'era un direttivo di uh, Unione Europea. The, in fact, la società non dovrebbe chiedere ai impiegati di fare il lavoro a casa, you know, dopo, uh, ne, ne, nella sera. Although, I've got to say, we're on Imprenditore Vero, so people listening to this are going, well, really, I, I, I work all the time. I work, at, you know, the weekends, I work in the evening. The times, have, the times have changed very much in the last it's few changed. decades. I mean, the thing is, you know, I, you're, I am a freelancer as well. I've worked as a freelancer, you know, as a writer and as a teacher. Um, that's your decision, right? If you want to work, if you're a freelancer and you work at the evenings and weekends, that's your decision. If you're an employee, an impiegato, it's different, you know, if the company is making you work uh, when really, you know, you should be at home with your family and relaxing. So, but this is definitely, you know, the, um, okay. with the technology. It's very, it's very clear, the difference. Uh, um, but maybe, maybe in the future, now and in the future, the culture will mix her up, you know, will we'll mix her. I think so. so I mean, you know, the Italian okay. culture will mix with the England one. Uh, there's many there are many difference yeah or maybe um, we'll become more italian today you know, with uh, the past no and in the future will be we are going to to this direction to can you hear me robert yeah i was just going to say the, much, thing, uh, the formality la formalità dappertutto is gradually you know life is getting less and yeah. less formal so um You know, I mean, in fact, this is... Per me, uh, per me, per me è una cosa positiva. It's positive. It's, it's positive. a positive thing. I mean, okay, in fact, ci sono qualche, uh, uh, you know, tema di questo argomento. La cultura diviene più informale, but c'è anche un problema, which is that the... Uh, for, per esempio, c'è meno sicurezza. There's less job security. Se you lavori per una società in uh, Inghilterra or in America, there's no, really, there's no job security. La, la società può licenziare una persona, you know, like that. Se decidono di cambiare, ristrutturare, riorganizzare il department, il reparto, that sort of thing. So e even in Italy, you know, the uh, job security is... A sacro, you know, it's like really important. You've got your job, you've got your contratto indeterminato, but that is ah, changing. That's changing. So, 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 yeah. Perché quando parliamo di anche di Angelo, che diciamo Angelo yeah. in realtà è il dipendente, sì. però in realtà diciamolo, questo libro va bene anche per le partite IVA. Quindi, chi yeah, yeah, ha la partita IVA ed yeah. entra in un'azienda anche come collaboratore. Sì, certo. magari non hai il contratto a tempo indeterminato quello che è a, magari hai un contratto a progetto su compartita IVA sì, quindi certo. attenzione, attenzione perché può andare bene lo stesso e lì la flessibilità è chiaro che è ancora di più perché yeah. non è, è un contratto di collaborazione a tempo sì, certo. I mean, I would quindi, say there's a molto importante uh, no, lo, dico, lo dico perché lo dico perché il nostro format è dentro imprenditore vero, mi dice che c'entra imprenditore vero con Angelo c'entra anche, eh, anche perché bisogna essere un po' piccoli imprenditori oggi per lavorare bene in un'azienda, bisogna sviluppare un po' la mentalità della, sì, certo. del real entrepreneur 
Yeah, I mean, in fact, in realtà, molte persone che iniziano, you know, come un impiegato, uh, divengono consulenti. So, for example, you know, you can work for a company for 20 years and then, you know, maybe leave and become a, co a, a consultant. And they have to manage their personal branding as well. Completely, yeah, very important. Um, you know, your, your, your communication with your clients, con i clienti, uh, it's always Robert. really important. Robert, yeah. um, let's talk about, uh, again, the handbook. The handbook. Yeah. No? Okay. Manuale di istruzioni, as your book reports, manuale yeah. di istruzioni con le informazioni utili per chi lavora nell'azienda. Sì. Ok, in the handbook we have all the information, yeah. no? the, the employee or uh, the partita IVA or the, the partner needs yeah. to work with company. Yeah. So the question is, um, quali sono le informazioni più importanti che il soggetto, Angelo, yeah. deve sapere i primi giorni quando fa questa sorta di training, no? Sì. Quindi nell'handbook ci sono queste informazioni, ok? Quindi quali sono le informazioni? Perché tu prima le hai dette. Parliamo un attimino un po' meglio di queste informazioni, no? Ok, so che questo, yeah. Anche perché io ho qualcosina da aggiungere dopo. Vai. Okay, so questo libro, the, the handbook, è un manuale, uh, tutti i grandi società hanno un libro, un libretto che si chiama the, the Company Handbook, Employee Handbook, or, you know, something like that. So, uh, la maggior parte del, delle informazioni in questo libro sono, um, they are default, you know, obbligatorio, per esempio, you know, the... the um, employment, equal opportunities. Um, they are general guidelines. Yeah, they're general guidelines. So, you know, they have to have things about, for example, um, uh, the i comportamenti che non sono accettabili, for example, racism, razzismo, completely unacceptable, never, non c'è mai una scusa per... Um, yeah, persona in una società di essere razzista o sessista or you know to um uh bully for example bullying is uh mob I don't know why in Italia si dice mobbing mobbing we say mobbing non bullying but in Inghilterra oh, we say bullying or mobbing si usa yeah. più mobbing si yeah so basically that's you know again unacceptable and so you know questi sono le regole come alla scuola, you know, ci sono un elenco delle regole. No, no, ci sono... The, the handbook contains yeah. also all the information regarding the company, the brand. I, I permit to, to add some more information yeah. related to my uh, professional work. There are three things. Mission, yeah. vision and values. Oh, very good. I, I prepared a slide. Posso yeah. mostrare una slide su yeah, questo? Definitely. Non è contenuto nel libro, però <laughs> è anche interessante. Okay. Secondo me... Story. Allora, facciamo così. Vediamo se possiamo... Yeah. Sto cercando di... Eh, non c'è modo di, di metterlo che è più grande. No, 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 no. Uh, Robert, one second, facciamo così, hide, show. No. <laughs> um, oh, we can put it in the YouTube later. No, 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 there's no, there's no way to, right. to make the, the, the slide bigger. Right. Uh, by the way, it's, uh, it's easy to, to read. Um, we have values. Uh, for example, this is an example, mm -hmm. integrity. Customer focus, yeah. results, teamwork. E poi abbiamo mission e vision, che sono gli obiettivi aziendali, eh, nel caso della mission attuali, nel sì. caso della visione futuri. Robert, um, in my opinion, but I don't think only in my opinion, they are very important, because the employees now is on the socials, no? Yeah. Gli dipendenti sono sui social. Yeah. 
sì, quindi certo. devono rispettare la, i valori la mission e la vision dei loro contenuti in quello che anche loro condividono sui social sì, sì. quando anche non solo sui social ma anche in normal life in real life Yeah. We have to, to make the brand uh, uh, known uh, through their yeah. real life, uh, their personality, their brand, uh, their personal yeah. brand as well. Um, let's, let's, yeah, per parlare senza peli sulla lingua. Okay, let's, let's be honest, right? Okay? Um, Come si dice senza peli sulla lingua? To, we would say to speak plain. To speak plain, to okay. Speak plain. Parlare chiaro, parlare chiaro. Yeah, because basically... Um, molti di questi formule, you know, questi frasi, the, the mission statement, quando entri in una società, uh, specialmente you know, più grandi americani società, they have the mission statement on the wall, è scritto, it's like a big sign and it says, you know, our mission is to blah, blah, blah. Um, uh, okay. In, in realtà, molto di questo linguaggio, a lot of this uh, corporate language is uh, a, a troppo generale. It's too, you know, it's, if there's, for example, you know, um, our mission is to provide the world with the best possible chicken nuggets and make everybody happy or you know something like that okay so uh, yeah that is that is important you know it's important because it's important. In, real, in realtà in realtà attenzione perché non è cioè magari in passato è stato così ma adesso un po' meno adesso le aziende i brand sanno bene yeah. che i valori aziendali vanno yeah. comunicati molto bene internamente e vanno fatti propri yeah okay i'll give you an example um, big company the grande società Uh, al giorno d'oggi yeah? uh, quando uh, hanno the um, annual report they publish a book it's called the annual report e questo elenca tutti uh, the informazione is the balance sheet profit and loss account the, the statement from the chairman uh, from the um, consiglio di amministrazione uh, but they also have what's called the um, CSR, the Corporate Social Responsibility Statement. And that can include, for example, things like ethical uh, activities, environmental, sustainability. And in reality, nowadays, if you look at a society, at a company, in a società, uh, you know, il più importante è cosa fanno non necessariamente cosa dicono, because all companies have fantastic, you know, um, beautiful mission statements and corporate values. Uh, so now, for example... È you chiaro know, che bisogna essere coerenti, è chiaro. La coerenza del messaggio con la, quella che è l'azione yeah. chiaramente rende il tutto molto più efficace, è normale. Esatto, yeah, esatto. Exactly. I mean, like diventa un boomerang, un yeah, boomerang, yeah, exactly. parola inglese. I, if I can just mention a website, which is actually, I mentioned it in the book, and forse uh, nostri amici che vedono questo video non, non hanno sentito di questo, si chiama, it's called glassdoor.com, porta di vetro, it's called glassdoor. Eh, lo scriviamo, guarda, lo scrivo, lo scrivo subito. Yeah, It's actually, I did mention it. I did mention it in my book. Uh, can I just say, I have no connection with Glassdoor.com. I'm not a non no, 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 no. Like that, yeah? But what it is, okay. it's exactly, it's that's the clear, website. It's clear. Glassdoor. Glassdoor, quindi troviamo anche tutti i commenti di quello che avviene, no? Feedbacks. Yeah, exactly. So what this is, this is, um, it's feedback, riscontro, anonimo, degli impiegati, delle persone che lavorano in una società, And it's got information about the job that they do, so you can explain everything about your job. And in un modo anonimo, yeah, it just says an employee. The so person. also the, the income, for example, how much they are paid. Yeah, it also, yeah, it, it lists the salaries, stipendi. It also has um, a riscontro sulla cultura, on the company culture, stuff about, but not, per, not, you know, not naming personal people. But it just gives you a flavor and sapore 
di come sarebbe lavorare in questa società. And I think now as well si può fare um, le domande, si può, you can apply for a job through, uh, through glassdoor.com. But it's a really interesting website and it does give you Interesting. It's inter very interesting and usable. Yeah, Robert, there's a, there's a question I wanted to, to show up. Yeah. Being a work alcoholic, does it really pay back? Oh, <laughs> that's an interesting question, isn't it? And if so, if so, to which acceptable extent? <laughs> well, I think we need to explain, first of all, what is a workaholic? Uh, questo è uh, una persona che lavora troppo, you know, come in modo compulsivo. In italiano è difficile da dire, eh? Staccano, <laughs> staccano vista. Staccano, yeah, exactly. Um, Repeat it. <laughs> okay, I would say, uh, say una persona, a letteralmente, if someone really is a workaholic, probably that's not a good thing, because questo vuol dire che hanno problemi con il lavoro, che il lavoro si fa male, uh, you know, è, è una sorta di malattia. E molte, molto spesso le persone che, ne, che sono sempre al lavoro, che non hanno un, una vita... Non hanno no social life. No social life. Usually, uh, they are, um, si evitano qualcosa, they're avoiding something. However, I've got to say this, yeah, and again, we're talking to the imprenditori veri here on this, on this uh, webinar, yeah? If you work for yourself, it's different because if you have a company and you choose to work 18 hours a day, including the weekends, because you want to build your company and you enjoy the work and, you know, for example, a lot of people who are doing creative if you work, work all the time you're you're not a, a real entrepreneur the the lavori tutto il tempo però non sei un imprenditore l'imprenditore sa delegare attenzione is that what the thing is it's is your decision yeah so if you decide that you know you like work i mean you know I'll give you an example okay i like writing i'm a writer so non scrittore okay i like i like to sit at my computer and write and for me It's not really work. You know, I mean, okay, it's my job. You know, I am a writer, I'm writing books, but it's not really, it's not really work, yeah? Uh, I don't know who you are, but... I don't know who you are, but whoever you are, have a, have a great weekend. <laughs> um, C'è un citazione, posso dire un citazione? Which no, is from... no, no, you can't, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, right. it's from Confucius. Il filosofo cinese, Confucio. Oh, yeah. So the, the quotation is, uh, find a job you love, trovi un lavoro che ti ami, and you will never work for a day in your life. E non lavori mai per un giorno nella vita, yeah? So if you, for example, you know, creative people, if you are a film director, una regista, If you are an artist, if you're a musician, even things like, for example, if you're creating software and you're coding and you're writing computer code, you know, because it's for your own personal um, project, yeah, that's not really work. It doesn't feel like, it feels like you're having a great time and you're, you're mentally, you're emotionally involved, yeah? Find a job you love and you'll never work a day in your life, exactly. So, um, i would say, io direi che le, you know, le persone che lavorano nelle società come impiegati, um, what is happiness? How can you be happy at work? So Angelo, this is his you know, first day at work. He's in a new company. Yeah? Um, if you are satisfied, if you have soddisfazione, if you feel that you are valued and that you're part of a team, and that you like the other people and you like going to work, even though now a, a lot of people are smart working, yeah? Um, that's really important. And obviously the money is important, but for most people, the, the salary, the stipendio, it's not everything. So unless you work in like, for example, the city of London, you work in a, a bank, you know, you're working as a trader or something, you're just making millions and millions of pounds and, and you're really focused on how much money you're making. For most people, You know, you need a bit of a, a balance between job satisfaction 
and um, you know, and the rewards from the job, the the money. Um, and I would say, you know, uh, for most people now, your job is really, you know, it's it's the main thing in your life. You've got your your family, and you've got your your job. If you're not happy with your job, it is a problem. Uh, and the other thing that I mentioned in the book, which I think is another difference between Italy and uh, the UK, the Anglo-Saxon countries, is that in the Anglo-Saxon countries, nei paesi anglo-sassoni, è molto più facile di cambiare il lavoro. Yeah? It's easier to change your job because the labor market, il mercato del lavoro, è più flessibile. And so this is the, we were talking before about the contratto indeterminato. That doesn't really exist. In the UK, if you have a permanent contract, it means it's permanent until you lose your job. And then it's not permanent, right? So there's no real guarantee. Uh, you don't have the same job security that you have in Italy. So in the UK, in America, there's less job security. Le meno sicurezza del lavoro, ma c'è più opportunità, c'è più flessibilità. Although, obviously, this is a really difficult period. You know, a lot of people are looking for jobs. But even now, there are job opportunities. You know, people will be starting new jobs. Um, so I would say, you know, that is, that's a main cultural difference. Um, the security and the uh, opportunity, the freedom. Uh, there's a bit of a, a trade-off, um, a scambio between those two. Is that another question? Yeah, uh, there's a, this question, true, but if you put your strongest passion on the things you do, the things you do, yeah. you will be walking for a lifetime. That's true um, as well. That's true. In fact, there was another quotation, La Citazione. I can't remember where it's from, but it was on, it came up on Facebook or LinkedIn somewhere. And it was, um, Al giorno d'oggi, yeah? Nowadays, don't look for a job. Non cerchi un lavoro. Create a job. Devi attrarlo o crearlo. Yeah, create. Yeah, exactly. It's don't look for a job. Create a jo Create your job. Um, so, okay, forse questo non è vero uh, per tutte le persone. But if you have the opportunity to direct your your work, probably you will be more satisfied. Um, okay. I would say, you know, per molte persone, the, the problem, il problema con il lavoro eh, is that most people feel they're not in control. You know, you go to the company, yeah. you have the work arrives, your boss says, do this, do that, but you do not direct anything. You just, you, you sell your time. Ti vendi il uh, tuo tempo. You do the work. You go home, you repeat it, you retire, yeah? Um, if you have a job where you feel you have more control, for most people, that's really important. That feel, that makes you feel that you're more valuable, that you have more, um, you know, uh, personal satisfaction. And I think also nowadays that, you know, most jobs are, are changing. So in the past, you know, people have very, very repetitive jobs like you know going chung, 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 you know with the timbro stamping things and adesso i lavori i lavori che vanno per la maggiore sono quelli incentrati sulla sull'umanità mm. sulla sul valore umano soprattutto e sulle soft skill che di cui abbiamo that, parlato we about this before soft skill so and also we've got to say another thing which is um, artificial intelligence Ah, sì. Vabbè, ma lì però entriamo proprio in un giro pazzesco. No? <ride> yeah. Perché, se, se iniziamo a parlare di guarda, <ride> if you start talking about AI, no, you right. finish so, uh, in, a, in a two hours. We okay. need that other two hours. Questo, to talk about. Questo cambia <ride> tutto. It's, it's definitely changing this, this yeah. attitude. So you, you, you're saying your human values. That's important because we are human. So that will be really important. The things that we yeah. can do that the AI can't do, that's going to become more and more important. And so things like, for example, things like empathy, empatia, things like emotional intelligence, um, 
So, adesso tutta io... non solo la, la, l'intelligenza artificiale proprio il mondo di anche l'automazione in generale yeah, yeah. sta meccanizzando, automatizzando tutti i, prof- i processi ripetitivi che comunque richiedono tempo quindi tutto quello che richiede tempo lo fanno le macchine significa che se tu vuoi lavorare non devi vendere il tuo tempo ma devi vendere altro yeah, exactly. and also your creativity creativity, you know, your ability to uh, think laterally, these will become more and more important. But also, you know, your ability to um, connect with other people. And that's, yeah. another, you know, part fare of quello che le macchine non sanno fare. È lì, il yeah. lavoro è lì. You know, Creare un'alternativa, essere un'alternativa alla, alla AI che sarà sempre più potente, sempre più in grado di emulare l'uomo, ma per fortuna non lo potrà fare su quello che è la creatività, l'umanità, tutti questi aspetti e quindi un consiglio che si può dare a chi si avvicina al lavoro, ma non solo, anche a chi già lavora e comunque dovrebbe cambiare, comunque mantenere un mindset per, per yeah. poter lavorare, comunque essere per disposto, quello proprio di avvicinarsi a questo tipo di mentalità che è la yeah. mentalità dell'imprenditore, ripeto, perché l'imprenditore crea valore, cre- crea, un lavoro, yeah. crea un lavoro, e quando crea un lavoro, cioè una leva, una, che poi in realtà è una leva finanziaria, no? sì. e allora lì riesce effettivamente a vendersi. Ma se crea qualcosa che richiede tempo e vende questo tempo, quel lavoro lì ci saranno delle macchine o delle intelligenze artificiali in grado di farlo a un prezzo più basso quindi è fuori mercato come si dice fuori mercato? Um, when something is uh, unsellable because uh, there's no market uh, oh no, sorry, there's no market there's no market, <laughs> there's no market. Um, Robert, just a little the, 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 last, the last thing yeah um, Okay, there are no other questions. Um, about uh, this, uh, this, uh, this term, settle in. Mm-hmm. What does the settle in mean? Settle, settle in. Settle, settle in, in means yeah. um, to become comfortable, to become familiar. Abituarsi, basically, it means abituarsi alla società. Um, but it also, I suppose it also, in Italy, it also means. Um, You know, mettere i piedi sotto la scrivania, you know, arrangiarsi. There's a bit of a, you know, you, you join a company. A company is a bit like a family, isn't it? When, when you, you get, when you get company, well with the, your colleagues, colleagues, yeah. i tuoi colleghi, quando ti trovi bene con i tuoi colleghi, and you settle in. You settle in. Um, settle in. So basically, yeah, to become part of the team, to become part of the family, um, You know, at work, and and I would say the the most important thing is to be flexible. You know, to be to adapt. You have to adattarsi. You have to change your habits so that you fit in with the company. Robert, I know this will look like a promotion, but we need to introduce uh, the uh, the fourth chapter. Yeah. Di cui parleremo la prossima settimana. Meetings. We talk about meetings. Oh, meetings, yeah. And meetings is uh, entrepreneurs, uh, employers, everyone. Everyone all together talking about uh, business. Yeah. And business English. We talk And about business, business English. English. Robert, purtroppo, purtroppo eh, il tempo è scaduto. The time is running out. Yeah. And uh, salutiamo i nostri amici. Eh, purtroppo noi abbiamo questo orario che è indecente. <ride> indecente ma purtroppo per i tuoi impegni i miei abbiamo questo orario però per fortuna le, le dirette le repliche vengono comunque viste ti ringrazio e ti voglio bene alla prossima Robert thank you Leo you too, mate. see you soon Thank ciao you. bye